Hello and welcome. I've been asked by David to embed a video to my CloudFunnels page. So I'm going to log into my CloudFunnels installation on my existing domain. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create a funnel. I'm going to give this funnel a name. And to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to then start with a particular sales page. Or actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize a page. And then I'm going to click Create. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to create a new page. I'm going to give that page a name. And then I'm going to click Add. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to then look at this page. And once I've done that, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a specific template for the page. What I can also do is I can create a template from scratch. And in order for us to do this one particular aspect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one from scratch. And that's going to bring me into the Cloud Funnels editor. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to make sure that I can view all the components on the page at the same time. And you'll see here that there are no components at this point. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to then put in one particular column. Actually, I'm going to do a three column area here. And so I'm going to drag this into the area. And I'm going to make this into three columns. What I'm then going to do is I'm then going to drag in my video element. And so to do that, I'm going to drag that video element into this box. And you're going to see that video element here. I'm then going to let that video element go. So now what I have here is I have a video element. I'm going to make sure that my cursor is then highlighting this particular element. And what I'm then going to do is go to the settings button. You're then going to see then that I can then dictate what the source of that video is going to be. In this case, what I'm going to say is that I want the video to be a YouTube video. And so what CloudFunnels is then going to want from me is going to be a video ID. So I'm now going to go to YouTube to get a video ID. And I'm going to pick up this URL. I'm now going to head back to CloudFunnels. A cloud funnels only wants the video ID. So I'm not going to put the entire URL in there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in that ID. So I'm going to now just put this in notepad. And I'm just going to grab the ID. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to now head back to cloud funnels. If I want the video to autoplay or to loop, I can choose that. In this particular case, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click Save Template. And so now the video is inside of the template. What I need to do now is I need to expand the size of this. So I'm going to pull this out some so that we can see that entire video. I'm then going to click Save Template. What I'm going to do then is we're just going to go and preview this page so that we can see it. We want to make sure that our video is going to be fully visible. So let's go ahead and click the preview button. Our video is still not visible. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back here. And what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this. And let's highlight the individual video box now. Let's pull this all the way out. And then we've got the video at the right size. Let's click Save Template. And once we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to preview that page. So we're going to go ahead and let this play out. Typically what I would do is I would stop this video, but I just want you to see how long things are taking on my own server. Let's go ahead and click this Preview button. That's probably the way we want this to appear. 
So now what we can do is we've got this page, the template has been saved, right? We'll save it one more time for good measure. And once we've done that, I'm gonna close out of the editor. Right? I'm gonna go ahead and let this go as long as it's gonna go. Let's close out of this. So now what I have is I have a page here that should be saved. So what we can do is we can then open this URL to see what's actually gonna appear on the web and there's our video. So that's how you are going to then embed a video to Cloud Funnels. Okay, I'll have more videos coming out throughout the week. I hope that this was helpful for you. Thanks and have a great day.